With your look around the Air Force, I'm Staff Sergeant Khadija Slaughter. The X-37B orbital test vehicle is back on Earth after spending more than 900 days circling the globe, conducting a wide range of experiments. The unmanned, reusable space plane carried a service module into orbit for the first time on this latest mission, expanding the number of experiments carried out for organizations like NASA and the U.S. Navy. One successful test included harnessing solar rays outside Earth's atmosphere to transmit power to the ground. Another experiment looked at the effects of long-term space exposure on seeds, as NASA works on space crop production for interplanetary missions and permanently inhabited bases in space. A delegation of Polish infrastructure planners are taking home ideas for U.S. basing efforts in their country. The planners visited Ramstein Air Base, Germany for an orientation to get insight into U.S. operations and capabilities. The Polish planners are developing what's referred to as a Ramstein East capability as part of a larger effort to build future infrastructure, potentially accommodating up to 20,000 U.S. troops in Poland. U.S. Air Forces in Europe says the effort comes at a time when civilian and military leaders on the continent are facing increased pressure from Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Basic trainees are now getting a taste of agile combat employment in their sixth week of training. The old Basic Expeditionary Airman Skill Training, or BEAST, is retired after running for 16 years. The new concept is called Pacer Forge, and it focuses on the concept of multi-capable airmen. It's a fast-paced, two-day set of flexible, results-focused scenarios that promote information-seeking, teamwork, and decision-making. Colonel Jeff Pixley, 737th Training Group Commander, says Pacer Forge is not a rebranding of Beast, but rather a reimagining that gives basic trainees their first opportunity to put warfighting skills learned earlier into practice. And that's your look around the Air Force.